If you're looking for a new set of wheels in 2022, this may be your year. Here to give us all the details on this ever-changing car market is the executive editor of Auto Trader, Brian Moody. Hey, Brian. Hey, Jane. Thanks for having me again. It's great to see you. So let's talk about trade in values. Is it helpful to the shopper if they negotiate their trade in value? It can be. And one of the important things about that is if you're a consumer with a car that you're going to sell or trade in, you should know what it's worth. And don't just assume because it may be worth more now than it was just a few months ago. So that can work to your advantage. But be sure you know what it's worth before you go in there. And how would we find out what it's worth? Well, you can use online resources. Kelly Blue Book is one. Um, you can also look online and see what those cars are selling for in your area. That's another good way to see. Um, but just have an idea before you go in and have an idea, well, not only what it's worth, but have an idea about what would you accept for it? Because maybe what you'll accept for it would be less, or maybe you have to get a certain amount. It just depends. But those are all things that you should know before you start any kind of purchasing or negotiating process. So should shoppers be willing to wait to find the car they want or should they be willing to travel out of the market? You should be willing to do both. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to have to do those things, but it just means that you should be willing to do it. So if you're searching for a car online and most people will, you want to expand the search area to be just beyond your only only your hometown. So say 100 miles. But you should also be willing if you can't find a car in the price range that you're looking for to wait and prices for used cars will probably start to normalize around the fall of 2022. So just be willing to do those things and be flexible and then you're gonna get the best deal. Is there a better place to buy a used car? It depends on what you mean by better. So for example, usually the least expensive cars are the ones that you buy from like your, your father-in-law or your neighbor down the street. That's usually the least expensive version. Um, but franchise dealerships, that's new car dealerships, so think at a, a Honda store or a Nissan or a Ford store, those usually have newer, lower miles cars, which means they're going to be a little bit more expensive. So be prepared for that. Independent dealerships can sometimes have good cars for a little bit less, say maybe three to $4,000. It just depends on what you're looking for. So consider all of those options and you'll find the one that fits your budget best. Give us a few models that are reasonably priced. So you can look for um, a two or three year old Chevy Equinox. That's an SUV that people like. Um, you might also want to consider a Kia Optima. That's a sedan. Any of those types of cars, Ford Fusion is a good one. Those types of vehicles are a little bit less expensive than the average. What you want to stay away from if price is your bottom line, big SUVs and big full size trucks are going to continue to be expensive, whether they're new or used. Brian, thank you so much for all of this great information. And if you want more, just head to Auto Trader's website.